Hey, this is just a super quick tutorial to show you how to make this. So let's jump into sh cinema and I'll show you how to set it up. So here we are. I'm using Cinema 4D R12, but you can use 11, 11.5 I believe. So basically all it is is my needle object that I created is inside a cloner. Um, nothing really happening in here. Just my sound effector is hooked up to the cloner. Basically the sound effector is just telling the needle to rotate up to 240 degrees. So I'm going to show you how to set this up now. Go into our Okay, here we are. I'm going to show you how to set this up really quick. First thing we need to do is add our needle into a cloner object. And set the count to 1. And we need to add our sound effector to the cloner object. So you can see if we click on the cloner and go to the effector tab, our sound effector is now affecting the cloner. So the next thing we need to do is add our sound file to the clone or to the sound effector. And the one thing you need to know about the sound effector is that it only takes wave or AIF in uncompressed and it can take 11, 22, or 44 kilohertz sound and 8 and 16 bit is supported. So, let's start playing this now. And you'll notice that it's affecting the position. So we want to turn that off and turn on the rotation. Now in the original file I used 240 as the maximum amount of rotation that will happen. And you can see it's pretty jittery, so what we want to do is set the sample mode to average. And we can start playing around with the fall off and the compression. So in the original file I used 75 as the fall off. And the compression was about 55. There we have it. So that's pretty much everything. Um, if you can't hear your sound file, it's either in the wrong format or you don't have this play sound during animation button clicked.